guys, like a Cheryl, welcome back to my YouTube channel. At kung bago pa lang kayo sa channel ko, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Guys, for this video, I will be talking about the preparations that I'm having on becoming a teacher one public school teacher. So if you want to learn more, just keep on watching. So just last week, I received a message telling me na meron ng vacant position. So I was really thankful about that. And ito na kasi yung hinihintay ko for 6 months given a list of requirements. Yung mga requirements na kailangan kong makomplete bago ako makapag-start na magturo sa public school. This list guys that I will be sharing to you, I'll be sharing to you my experience kasi on how I did the preparation. I was given the list of requirements na kailangan kong makompleto bago ako makapagturo sa public school. So, medyo madami siya, guys. And most of the requirements ay wala pa ako. So, I thought of making a vlog para dun sa mga teachers na if pasok na kayo sa RQA, the fight applicants, at naghihintay na lang ng tawag or ng message from any public school. I'm sharing this, guys, para... Kapag natawagan na kayo or kapag na-message na kayo, alam nyo yung gagawin nyo or alam nyo yung mga list uh, requirements na kailangan i-comply nyo. Kasi for me, personally, madaming mga requirements dito na wala talaga. Iisipin guys, yung mga required documents, kayang-kaya naman siyang ma-accomplish mo in two weeks. Kagaya din guys ng pertinent papers for teacher one position, kailangan mong magkaroon ng CSC form number 212 at yung PDS, personal data sheet. At yung lalagay mo yung mga information about yourself, yung work experience mo, educational background and everything. So, don't worry, it'll be it will be provided by the school kung saan ka nag-apply or kung sino yung head teacher yung tumawag sa inyo, bibigyan kayo ng personal data sheet or the CS form. The only thing that you need to provide is the five pieces passport size picture, which looks like this. Next one, guys, is the additional worksheet. Ito, isi-send naman sa inyo via Gmail or depende yan sa head teacher if he or she will be printing out the copies is the PRC license ID so kailangan ipa photocopy nyo guys at ipa authenticate nyo sa PRC mismo for this requirement dito ka nahirapan kasi I need to wait for three days yata okay I'll be checking kasi I need to wait for six days kasi guys wala nang express there's no express kahit san siguro kayo na PRC pumunta na branch walang express na I don't know why pero you need to wait for a long period of time so medyo nahirapan ako to express na or yung parang magbabayad ka ng additional money so wala nang ganun guys you need to wait for Last in a week lang naman, pero kasi yung sa item ko, it's urgent. Urgent na kasi. Yung papalitan ko kasi guys is a retired teacher, which means na yung position na yun is a natural vacancy. Natural vacancy siya. Yung papalitan ko is already retired. Kaya, which makes me happy guys, kasi yung, yung vacant slot na yun, it's allotted for me na talaga. So, it's not a substitute position or anything. So, yes. Yun na medyo mahirap din kunin is the PSA or yung sa live birth nga. Kasi wala na akong copy na original. And I need two copies for this. Xerox copy lang naman eh, or the photocopy. But I don't have an original copy of my... PSA or yung sa life requirements na to guys, yung iniisip mo na sana inasikaso ko na weeks before, yung parang ganun, if only I knew. <laughs> I thought of sharing it to you guys para habang naghihintay kayo for a vacancy, at least meron na kayong requirements, ba? So, konti na lang yung if you fill out nyo or yung i-accomplish nyo. So, that is the third one. Certificate of Live Birth or yung PSA. Pwede kayong kumuha yun guys sa SM. Pag sa SM, mag-fill out lang kayo ng form and then you, you'll be paying... Okay, I'll give you an idea kung magkano siya. 55 pesos siya. Sa SM meron yun guys. Walang hassle at all. You just need to wait for I think 7 days bago nyo makuha. So medyo matagal-tagal din. Pero yung maganda doon, unlike sa Robinsons, sa Robinsons, guys, kailangan yung mag-online muna, tas doon kayo magbabayad. So, hassle, ba 
Kaya, I recommend na pumunta agad kayo sa SM para isang bagsakan na. Although, you need to wait for a week, at least magbabayad the requirements, guys, for this one. Medyo kinabahan ako. Kasi, kailangan ng TOR at diploma na authenticated. So, yung kailangan, guys, yung sa college talaga, yung sa bachelor's degree ko. So, I was pretty confident na tatanggapin nila yung sa St. Paul kasi graduate na ako eh. Graduate na ako ng master's. Pero, to my surprise, kailangan talaga nila yung bachelor's na TO, bachelor's degree na copy of the TOR. Tungan ako ng best friend ko na makuha ito. So, yes. Thank you, Salve. <laughs> this is very important, the medical certificate. So, for this, I'll be sharing to you my experience kung saan ako nagpa-medical or, yes, kung saan ako nagpa-perma ng sa medical certificate. So, guys, din sa Facebook kasi, merong group ng Dap Adresal. So, nag-search ako na kung saan ba pwedeng magpa-medical, na mura lang, at in that place, lahat kompleto na. Yung parang nandiyan na yung drug test, urinalysis, chest x-ray, lahat-lahat. So, yung na-recommend nila, guys, ay sa Krame. Hospital sa Krame. So, eto na ngayon. Pumunta na ako sa Krame, guys. Two hours talaga yung biyay from Antipolo going there. Ah, kasi medyo maol. Sabi sa akin, bakit, sino daw nagsabi sa akin na pwede daw doon sa hospital nga sa Krame? Bawal na pala. So, matagal nang pinagbawal. So, yung sinabi nga nila doon, sa labas daw. Sa labas daw yung mga teachers nagpapagawa ng, yung sa medical. So, ayun. Buti naman, guys, na magandang loob siya. And then, sinamahan niya ako sa mismong clinic. So, private pala. Kapag nagpapamedical, guys, pwede sa private. All I thought kasi, kailangan sa public hospital talaga siya. Public hospital sa Krame. Pero hindi pala sa private clinic ka magpagawa ng medical. So, yung sa, for the medical, kailangan mo yung sa urinalysis, original copy yun, hematology, or yung CBC, chest x-ray, drug test, psychological test, and neuropsychiatric test. So, yun yung time ko kasi magpa-drug test. So, I don't have any idea kung paano ba yon Pero, mabilis lang siya. As in, within the day, na-accomplish ko to lahat. Na-accomplish ko lahat tong medical certificate na to. Tapos, hin yun. And you don't need to wait four days kasi guys, eh, within one day, matatapos mo siya yung sa medical certificate. So, first time ko magpa-drug test at magpa-neuropsychiatric test. Yung sa neuropsychiatric test, guys, it will be measuring then yung ability mo, yung reasoning mo. So, it's about yourself. Yun. Yung medyo mahirap lang dito, guys, is madami talagang tanong. And it's all in essay form. So, ayun. Natapos ko to for two hours, ah. For two hours. Pero it's about yourself. Kung how do you view yourself? Kung optimistic ka ba na klaseng tao? Kung negative ka ba mag-isip or something? So, imemeasure dun kung... Yes, kung ano ka. Kung, kung anong tingin mo sa sarili mo. So, yun yun. Psychological and neuropsychiatric, guys. Pareho lang yun. It's the same. Tapos, I'll give you an idea kung magkano ba yung nagasto ko for the medical. Yes. So, I'll be showing this. Liam, yung sa X-ray... CBC at urinalysis, I paid 500 pesos for it. At guys, nagpa-medical ako for this sa health venue. Malapit lang din yung sakrame. So, lahat kasi ng clinic na pinuntahan ko, magkalapit-lapit lang siya. Tapos, iba pa yung new neuropsychiatric and the drug test. Iba pa yun. For the drug test and psychological test or neuropsychiatric test, I paid 900 for that, guys. So, iba pa yung agad yung mga blood test, urinalysis, chest x-ray, drug test, psychological, saka yung neuropsychiatric bago nyo ipasign yung medical certificate. And you can go anywhere naman sa kahit anong public hospital, tatanggapin yan, and they will be signing government physician. So, kailangan doctor talaga who is working in a public hospital. So, hindi pwede, guys, na sa... The feeling that I'm having right now is very surreal because I never imagined, guys, na makakapasok ako sa public school. Kasi iniisip ko, nakatatak na kasi sa isip, sa isip ko, guys. Imposible. Imposible yung makapasok sa public school. Two years. Two years lang yung teaching experience ko, eh. So, medyo dihado ako doon. Pero with the demo and the interview, 
I perfected it kasi yung sa interview ko and then yung sa demo ko naman 14.75 yung perfect score doon is 15 so medyo mataas-taas na yun gan I'm very thankful to God guys kasi hindi niya talaga ako pinabayaan this is my dream all along na to enter the public school kasi I really need to have a stable job yun so I'm really really happy guys and that's why also I need to have an income din kasi that's why I'm vlogging kasi iniisip ko na one day monetize din yung channel ko at kikita din ako just like other big youtubers out there kasi nothing in this world is impossible guys as long as you believe in yourself totoo talaga yun kasi before na nagpa-ranking ako nakatatak na talaga sa isip ko baka hindi ako makapasok, ganyan baka ma-fail ako sa interview, ma-fail ako sa demo, but to tell you guys na perfect ko yung interview not to brag ha, I'm not bragging or anything at all, so kako, pinalad talaga ako pinalad ako na makapasok sa RQA, and it's almost a miracle guys kasi, iniisip ko talaga kasi na imposible siya kailangan lahat ng documents mo, kailangan meron kang proof ganyan and certificates. Kailangan meron ka ding certificates, specialized training, 10 points in guys. So, kailangan be competitive, be a competent teacher. Yung parang ganun. Pakita mo na you really, you really, you are deserving. You are deserving to have that slot. So, yes ko sa Lord. Lahat ng mga prayers ko ginagrant niyo sa akin. Unahin na lang natin yung sa masters ha, na makagraduate ako sa masters. Hindi niya ako pinabayaan guys. Hindi ako na-fail sa masters. Even though kasi I used to be a negative thinker kasi. Yung iniisip ko ay hindi ko kaya. Ganun kasi talaga ako dati eh. Yun yung iniisip ko. I grew up kasi as a very shy girl. Tapos hindi naman ako ganun ka pabibo or something. So yeah. Tapos yun. Just I I just prayed na matatapos ko yung master. My portrait from Red Images, so I'll be showing it to you guys. Wala lang. I thought of sharing it to you. Yung parang papakita ko lang. <laughs> I got this, and I'm so happy because this is the fruit of my labor. Three years kasi ako sa Saint Paul na nag-aral for the master's degree, and finally, yes, I can. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And guys, always remember the law of abundance. If you always thank God about all the things that He is blessing upon you, you will have more and you will have a very positive and beautiful life. So guys, that is it for this video. Goodbye!